and welcome to x-ray review let's take a look at 10 interesting x-ray cases in about five minutes here's the first case and this is a good example of a scaphoid fracture with avascular necrosis of the proximal fragment of the scaphoid. Case number two. Here's an aggressive thyroid tumor with a soft tissue mass causing tracheal deviation to the left. Case number three. This is a classic example of the bone within a bone appearance seen with osteopetrosis. Osteopetrosis is an uncommon hereditary disorder that results from defective osteoclasts. Bones can become sclerotic and thick However, they're structurally weak and brittle, and radiographically, they present with this bone within a bone appearance. Case number four. This is a good example of pleural effusion, and in this case, from pneumonia. There's blunting of the costophrenic and cardiophrenic angles, and this entire shaded region represents the fluid accumulation from the pneumonia. Compare the involved right side to the normal left hemidiaphragm, and you should be able to see the abnormality. Case number five. And here is an acute fracture of the base of the fifth metatarsal. This is a good example of a pediatric injury that demonstrates both the fracture and the normal open growth center. Case number six. This is multiple myeloma demonstrating numerous locations of punched out lytic lesions. Multiple myeloma is the most common primary malignant bone neoplasm in adults. And in this case, you can see multiple punched out lytic lesions seen scattered throughout the bones. Case number seven. Here is a benign enchondroma of the proximal humerus. Benign enchondromas are relatively common intramedullary hyaline cartilage tumors. Radiographically, they can show as this stippled calcification and can look radiographically identical to bone infarcts. Case number eight. This is a large midline hiatal hernia, and the normal gastric air is under the left hemidiaphragm, and in this case, you can see it overlying the heart. So compare that to where the normal gastric air bubble should be. Case number nine. Osteopoikilosis is a sclerosing bony dysplasia characterized by multiple benign bone islands. 
It is a rare inherited benign condition incidentally found on skeletal x-rays. This condition is asymptomatic and it's important to not mistake it for pathology. Case number 10. This individual had a saw accident causing traumatic amputation and then had surgical reattachment of the third digit. Thanks for listening and hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and any questions or comments, please put them below. Thanks again.